Okay, <clears throat> so Republican senators pitch ten dollar an hour minimum wage. All right, we all know that Democrats are fighting for fifteen. Republicans pitch a reasonable ten. I happen to agree, and we're going to go through this. And then at the end of this video, what I really want to talk about is the. I'm going to tie this into this video is the claim that minimum wage should be like twenty four dollars an hour if we scaled it correctly since it was implemented in what, like nineteen thirty eight whatever. I'm going to get to that after, but let's go through this. Republican Senator Mitch Romney and Tom Cotton are making their own pitch to raise the federal minimum wage. Democrats' efforts move forward in a coronavirus relief bill, but the plans fall short of several Democratic Democratic lawmaker promises, a sign it's unlikely to get bipartisan support, which I'm happy about. I don't want $15 an hour minimum wage. That would be preposterous. The proposed unveiled... <clears throat> the proposal unveiled by the two senators on Wednesday would gradually increase the minimum wage from its present 725 to an hour, an hour to $10 an hour by 2025. So right now the pitch is 15 by 2026. This would be 10 by 2025. That amount would then be indexed to inflation every two years, which is reasonable, right? It would gradually rise with inflation after it's increased to $10 an hour. Um, that $7.25 to $10 an hour is actually greater than inflation. So that seems rather reasonable. The plan dubbed the Higher Wages for America's Workers Act also creates a slower phase in for raising the minimum wage for small businesses with fewer than 20 employees amid concerns for some that phase in for raising the minimum wage for small a slower phase in for uh, small businesses with fewer than 20 employees amid concerns by so the, the raising could put an additional cost burden on them, which makes sense. At the same time, it prevents any increase to the federal minimum wage during the coronavirus pandemic. So the first increase would, uh, to $8 would be happened after the crisis, which is completely reasonable because whether you're for or against 15 an hour minimum wage, this is not the time to be implementing something like this. So I actually tend to agree with Republicans on this. For millions of Americans, the rising cost of living has made it harder and harder to make ends meet, but federal minimum wage has not been increased in more than 10 years said Romney and Utah, uh, of Utah in a statement. At the, at the same time, the proposal ties the minimum wage increases to efforts to combat the, hire, combat the hiring of illegal immigrants. That's fair as well. American workers compete against millions of illegal immigrants to the jobs with wages that are too low. That's unfair. Now, I understand that because there's a factor and we should be putting it on the businesses that hire illegal immigrants to work. Uh, we should be putting the burden on them to not do that. However, there's an argument to be made that Americans are snooty fucks and they don't do some jobs, realistically speaking. Um, and also, those jobs don't tend to pay enough for people to live. It's a very complicated issue. Uh, ending the black market for illegal labor will open up jobs for Americans. Raising the minimum wage will allow Americans to fill those jobs, better support their families. Uh, our bill does both. The proposal would raise civil and criminal penalties on employers that hire unauthorized immigrants. <sighs> you know, I know it should be put on them, but this seems like a... It makes perfect sense to decentivize small businesses from hiring illegal immigrants. The problem, and like I like I said, like I think it should be put on them more. But the problem is, is like alternative employment is very difficult. I don't see um, these like the mass firings of these workers um, as like something that's going to prop up our economy. If anything, I think it's going to end up hurting our economy uh, in general. So I don't really know if this is necessarily like from it makes logical sense, but from an outcomes perspective, I'm not sure if I super support it. Um, you know, I just think that our system is so fucked financially right now that like it's hard, like it's hard to say, hey, small businesses hire people to do a job that they won't do because you can't pay them enough to live. Um, in a time where like we still haven't figured out how to close the wealth gap. And you know me, I'm a UBI guy, whatever. Um, it would also require all employers to start using an e-verify federal online system that allows employers to con uh, confirm their employees are el eligible for work over the next 18 months, which would give small businesses time to comply, outlines $100 million annually, funding to ensure e-verify would not be affected by a government shutdown. The proposals would also require workers 18 and older to provide photo ID to employ what? This, okay, this is fucking stupid. Okay, so basically, this program is going to cost us $100 million. It's going to cost us $100 million to implement an online system that historically governments seem to fail at implementing. So that, for what? We're going to spend $100 million in tax dollars for this? Wouldn't it make more sense? I don't know. That seems like a waste of fucking money. Honestly, it seems like a waste of fuck fucking money here. Like, is it going to actually do anything? Because if we spend $100 million and nothing happens or changes, then we just wasted a bunch of money. So we're going to do an e-verify system that... I don't know. 
it seems like more of a waste of money. I feel like this is going to be bad for small businesses too. <laughs> like they feel like this is going to be terrible. This is going to be bad for small businesses. I don't really see this. Like if, if your argument against 15 an hour minimum wages, it's bad for small business. This isn't going to help. Like, honestly, as unfortunate as it is, is locking small businesses from being able to hire illegal immigrants right now with no real solid alternative. Eh, it's going to fuck us up. And then you're going to boost our taxes to make sure a hundred million dollars a year goes to this bullshit fucking system. Hmm. At least 22 states already have minimum wages at least 10 or higher, according to the National Conference of uh, State Legislatures. While other states have already tracked to gradually increase to $10 or more at the same time, at least 22 states have a minimum wage set at 2025 or do not have a minimum wage. Romney and Cotton's two-part proposal come as Democrats move forward with the minimum wage increase American Refugee Plan or Rescue Plan as proposed by Joe Biden. The provisional in the House would increase blah, blah, blah. 11 this year, 15 by 2025. Okay, I was wrong. I said 2026. Oh, 2026 was for tipped workers. (laughs) A separate bill introduced by Democrats would do the same, as it's unclear whether the minimum wage provision can be included in the Senate bill as it relates to legislation. Okay. The House Budget Committee, blah, 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 blah. Wage increase, uh, Monday pushback from Republicans, a full relief package is on track for full vote. The Senate permit is expected to issue a ruling with the minimum wage provision can be part of the package. The first step is to go before. Okay. So here's my thing. Uh, here's my thing. Okay. So. Yeah, this seems, you know, I'm fine with the $10 an hour thing. I think that's much more reasonable. And then scaling for inflation after that point, I think is actually a rather reasonable thing. I think it's totally fine, totally reasonable. And it makes perfect sense. Um, I don't like the E-Verify thing. I think that we're putting too much stress on small businesses to fix the system. The reason small businesses have to hire illegal immigrants is because of the fact that people don't want to work for such low wages and the wages are just low in general. And $10 an hour isn't that much better. Um, and so they, 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 they turn to illegal immigrants. There's a whole fucking thing here. Here's the thing. Here's the biggest problem. This is the biggest takeaway of the video when it comes to minimum wage. Um, The biggest takeaway when it comes to this is this. There have been a lot of people talking about how minimum wage, if scaled the way it was supposed to be scaled, would be like $24 an hour or something like that, right? And what they mean is if it was scaled with productivity. Now, some people, there are actually more conservative estimates that say it would only be $16 an hour. The problem I have with this argument, and the reason I wanted to talk about this is this. It's probably true. If we had properly maintained minimum wage, we would have seen less money going to the top and more money going to the bottom, creating a much healthier system. However, our system, our capitalist system has been abused, right? People have taken advantage of our capitalist system through deregulation to the point where simply put, uh, the minimum wage, like we have a problem. And when you say, hey, this, we should increase our minimum wage to 15 an hour because it should be 24 an hour, doesn't mean that increasing it to 15 an hour will be positive now in our current landscape. You can't drastically boost the minimum wage while the systems, the abused systems or the systems of abuse still exist, right? This isn't going to reduce wealth disparity. We need to regulate, right? Now, I personally don't know exactly what we need to do. But a 15 an hour minimum wage is projected to rise like 800,000 plus people out of poverty and benefit others as well. But also it's estimated to have a 1.3 or 1.4 million dollar or excuse me, 1.3 or 4 million job loss. So minimum wage in our current system that is subjected to abuse. Simply put, it's just not going to happen. It's not going to be a positive. It's going to have a negative impact. The issue is wealth disparity. If we had kept up the flow from back in the day, I'm sure we would have been much better off right now, but we didn't. So a drastic minimum wage boost isn't going to help. And this is why we need to start having a conversation about universal basic income and fixing the system. Because right now, a or 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 a government subsidized minimum wage. That's something that we could talk about as well. But we can't keep putting the burden on small businesses. If you want a 15 an hour federal minimum wage, What we need to do, at best, I'm a UBI guy, but at best, it needs to be a government-subsidized federal minimum wage, okay? We we can't be putting the burden on small business. So subsidize subsidize the wage, right? And then start getting more money away from the large corporations and the people at the top. That's what we need to do. But we cannot continuously put the burden on small businesses. That's the problem, okay? That's the biggest problem. Okay. So we have to understand that. That's something I wanted to talk about. 
Um, we simply put a 15 an hour minimum wage by itself is bullshit. It's going to be negative. It's going to be a net loss for society. Again, if you guys wanted to go the route of government subsidizing minimum wage, where you subsidize especially small businesses minimum wages by saying like, oh, you can only afford $7. Well, we're going to do the other seven. Okay. I can be okay with that. That makes sense because you're putting the burden, right? You put the burden on the government and the government would then put the burden on the people. But what it to go, what it should then to translate that burden onto the people at the top more. Now it doesn't do that right now. There are huge ways to avoid paying taxes for businesses and corporations. But then what you, then you would have to stop allowing businesses and corporations getting away with these massive like uh, you know tax avoidance schemes. Do you understand? So that's what we need to do. But we need to stop looking at this in like such a fucking black and white stupid way. And we need to stop talking about productivity as a way to support a terrible fifteen an hour minimum wage. Uh, scenario. So 